back with another well, I guess this is my first story time on this mug but um, I'm back with another video man I'm gonna tell y'all about the time that I was sleeping in my motherfucking car bro bro that shit man, this shit all started from like I don't even know, like, you know, I was, I was in my mom crib and shit or whatever, but a nigga had a kid, you know what I'm saying, like, I didn't just have a kid before I went and I started sleeping in the motherfucking car, but, um, yeah, it was like that time, you know what I'm saying, like, I think he was probably like two or three, I mean, he was like three for sure, Cause this was, this was, uh, during the pandemic, matter of fact. No, after the pandemic, so maybe like 2021. Maybe, maybe it was during the pandemic. It could have been during the pandemic. Either 2020, 2021, right? And it was probably like for six months or something like that. But you know what I'm saying? One thing, you ain't gonna stop no hustler from getting to no bag. So a nigga gonna have down days and all that shit, but you feel me? If you really like that, then you gonna bounce back. <clears throat> But uh, anyways, man, yeah, so I had, I had met this little chick that actually turned into like low-key, like a long, a long-term situation. It was like maybe four or five years, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit went bad, real bad, but you know what I'm saying? We ain't here to point no fingers or nothing like that. But shit, uh, yeah, long story short, I did the typical, you know what I'm saying, broke nigga shit. And I went and moved in with Shorty, right? But um, she had a roommate, so like the rent was cheap. So you know what I'm saying? So in order for me to feel like, and you know how motherfuckers is, like when you live with them and shit, like they don't give you like a certain amount of time. Shit be cool until it ain't. So like, I'm like the rent cheap, I might as well just pay the whole thing because you ain't gonna get no rent that cheap nowhere. So I'm like, I'm gonna just go ahead and pay the whole little five, I think like five, six hundred. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't give a fuck what she think this is type shit. You know what I mean? I'm just doing it to like, I can stack up my chili and you know what I'm saying? You know, figure this thing out. So I ended up moving to Shorty for like three months, three, four months, something like that. And uh, Man, though, I mean, nigga wasn't home or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was really persistent. Uh, nigga was hitting the gym, five in the morning, four in the morning, shit like that. After the gym, come back, nigga get ready, I'm out the door, working all day. Come back at probably about seven o'clock, six o'clock. And, um, shit, by the time I come home, shorty at the crib, you know what I'm saying? I had like two whips, so, uh, I think she was like using that shit every now and then type shit, but I was up, but I was down, you know what I mean? Like, um, shit, by the time I came home, shit, shorty was waiting for a nigga type food, cook, all kind of shit, you know what I mean? So it was, it was cool, you know what I'm saying? It was straight. And then, um, I guess the roommate got jealous or some shit, I don't know, but somebody over there got jealous because. They started telling motherfuckers I was selling dope, I was selling weed and shit, like, you know, lying on a nigga name, you know what I'm saying, all kind of weird shit, you know what I'm saying, I experienced that shit a lot, I don't know what the fuck that shit was about, but, um, yeah, niggas was saying all kind of shit, like, I was selling weed and shit, so they basically, oh, you gotta go, like, you selling weed, like, nigga, I didn't even smoke, man, you know what I'm saying, I don't even smoke, I don't sell, I wouldn't sell no weed, but, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, shorty flipped the fuck out. Started tearing the house up, beating holes through the walls and shit. And you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 if I'm with you, I'm with you. So she like, she trying to come sleep in the car with me type shit. I didn't argue or nothing. I'm just like, cool, you got a place to stay. Shorty like, I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you. You stay here. You know what I mean? Just stay in this motherfucker. I'm gonna sleep out the car a couple months and um, I'm gonna find the spot. And if you wanna come with me, you can come with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you coming with me. But shit, if that's what you want to do, fuck it, I ain't tripping. You was, you know, when I was down, you was there, so I'm a rock with you. So that's what it was. So I'm sleeping in the car about three, four months, wearing the same clothes. I got clothes and shit, but nigga, you ain't about to be changing like that. 
So I had to set up my whole little shop out the trunk, man. I'm talking about I had Listerine, toothpaste, I had everything. Uh, uh, Lysol, Febreze, you know what I'm saying? Because you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Even though you're sleeping out your shit, you ain't trying to appear that way, you know what I mean? So, and I had my shit right, man. I'm Lysoling the clothes or whatever, the Febreze, letting them air out. Sometimes I'm leaving the clothes hanging on the windows on the side of the fucking car. Just, you know, you know what I'm saying, let them air out type. Um, wake up every morning about 5 in the morning, 4 in the morning. Because uh, I'm really trying to beat everybody else. I don't really want to wake up 8, 9 o'clock. Now, everybody watching me brush my teeth out of my trunk type. Or I shoot over the motherfucking uh, Carl's Jr. I shoot the Carl's Jr. And, um, you know, be situated in a little bathroom or whatever. But, um, man, that shit got kind of played out fast because... I guess they realized it, you know what I'm saying? They start laughing at a nigga type, you know what I mean? So, it is what it is. Um, but the nigga, the whole time, nigga, I'm sitting on about 10, 12,000, 15,000 just cash, you know what I mean? But I was trying to fix my credit and um, just really stack, stack, stack so I could move and, you know what I mean, get everything I needed at once. I didn't want to just move into a place that had no furniture, none of that shit. But everything that you see in this motherfucker or that you can see is what I bought. Um, Shorty helped out a little bit, like, you know what I mean? But nigga, I did all this shit by myself for real. Keep that shit buck with you. Uh, that's why when shit went south, everything stayed because it was nothing that, you know, she purchased. Whatever she purchased, she took with her. And whatever she wanted to take, whatever it take. But, um, yeah. I was, I was trying to stack, and the worst thing about that shit is, like, nigga, it's, it's, it's a rough road when you sleep, and it was summertime, too, so, you either gonna leave your AC running all night, or you gonna have your windows down, you know what I'm saying, so some nights I got the AC running all motherfucking night with the windows cracked, AC running all night, all night, so now I'm starting to have car problems and shit, like, damn, so now I gotta bust the windows down. When you bust the windows down, you got flies and shit, and you gotta worry about a motherfucker trying to, you know what I'm saying, reach through your shit, snatch some shit while you sleep. Like. So I went on Amazon, I got these these little window things for your car, and um, it's like nets or some shit. So I just bust my windows down with the nets. But then about 4 or 5 in the morning, nigga, you got motherfucking 18 wheelers flying down the motherfucking street, nigga, going fast as fuck. So if you sleep, just imagine like an 18 wheeler passing you up at 60 miles per hour, my nigga. That's probably less than 5, 10 feet away from you, bro. And you dead sleep, four in the morning. Scared the shit out your bitch ass, nigga. On me. That shit had me popped up real quick. But, um, yeah, dog, that shit was an experience, man. Worst thing was really trying to, like, figure out where to use the bathroom, bro. You got shit, like, you got, you got tough, bro. I ain't gonna, you got tough, nigga. To where, like, you had to, you know what I'm saying? Nigga seen Friday, nigga smoke, you taking shit, you know what I mean? Like, real deal. It's real in the field. Like, it's, like, people got a lot of problems in the world that ain't really problems. And, um, I think that's why it's easy for me to push through so many problems that I have because, man, I done been at the bottom of the bottom, you know what I mean? So, when I get these little life problems and shit, little bills and shit pop up, I don't give a fuck about that shit. You can take that shit. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this shit out and keep pushing. But, uh, yeah, man, I didn't get kicked out of my, my mom's crib or nothing like that, so I don't want to put no, no dirt on her. I decided to leave. Like, I just said, fuck it. Like, I ain't gonna. I'm in her crib, right? I'm making money. I'm drawing up plans on the whiteboard and all that. Um, but. Like, you ain't never really gonna shake the spot. Ain't nothing really gonna happen until you just jump, nigga. And when you walk out to that motherfucking cliff, you, there's nothing that's gonna happen for you until you actually jump off that motherfucker. Because you ain't gonna know if you can fly or not. And shout out to uh, my nigga Steve Harvey. He said that. I got some books over here. He said that in that book, Jump. Um, you can be comfortable as possible, but you don't know what you can make shake until you have to make it shake. And my shit probably crusty, me. I just woke up, popped the camera on, you know what I'm saying? But fuck it. Uh, yeah, so I did that, you know what I'm saying? So I've been wearing the same clothes for like two days. And Shorty would pull up on me with my clothes, she'd bring me some 
I mean, Shorty was, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, Shorty was the shit, bro. Like, she calling me every day, like, where you at? You hungry? I'm about to come eat with you. She pull up, gang of food, come eat with a nigga, kick it with a nigga. She wanted to be with a nigga real bad, dog, and I'm just like, sleeping in your car, that shit make you, like, really standoffish. Like, you really be like, you know what I'm saying? So, it kind of, it kind of made that, our relationship fucked up, I ain't gonna lie. Because, uh, I was real standoffish. It's like a dog eat dog world when you're in the street, so. Yeah, it was, it was I was kind of acting weird towards her. But Shorty pull up on me every day, call me, where you at? I'm gonna come eat with you. Let's eat. We eat, whatever, boom, 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 boom. I gotta go back to work. I'm trying to get this bag. I'm working 12 hours, man. Um, every, every day, every two days, she'll call me, what you wanna wear? Because I kept my clothes at her crib, so. Shit, put on my outfits, put on my clothes, then take it, wash my clothes every week, hang my shit up, fold my shit up, bring me what I need, you know what I'm saying? She was down. Um, but yeah, I fucked that situation up. Uh, so it ain't no, it ain't no uh, ill will toward Shorty ever. But um, yeah, long story short, I fixed my credit, I started applying for spots. I got a spot, you know, by myself. I'm like, hey, Shorty, I found a one bedroom by myself. Um, it wasn't this spot that I'm in, that was a different spot. But I went to look at it, I'm like, this motherfucker kind of small for what I'm paying. So she like, yeah, um, like, I want to come with you. Like, she kept pushing that shit. Like, I want to be with you, I want to come with you, I want to come with you. And, like, I made Shorty wait two, three years before I took her serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to earn everything you get with me, you know what I mean? But, yeah, uh, Found another spot right here where I'm at now. They was playing, they was playing stupid games, trying to. And I was trying to move up in here, like. But uh, yeah, I fixed my credit in like three months and shit. Stacked that bread up. Sometimes I go to motels. 